Voters heading to the polls to decide the fate of short-term rental companies like Airbnb in Jersey City. If passed, the referendum on today's ballot will cap rentals to 60 days a year if the property owner doesn't live on site, require owners to have permits, and ban rentals in buildings with four or more units. The city says the short-term rental market has driven up the cost of housing and led to a spike in illegal hotels. Governor Phil Murphy and hotel lobbying groups support the regulations. Airbnb, meanwhile, has spent more than $4 million in TV ads and flyers to convince people to vote no. The company says the regulations pander to the hotel lobbies and will potentially bankrupt hardworking residents who rely on rental income. It's also just about the idea that people be buying up brownstones and just turning them into these types of, um, you know, kind of units for rent. There were roughly 300 Airbnb listings per night when Jersey City legalized short term rentals in 2015. That number has since spiked to 3,500, thanks in part to tourists turning to cheaper options when visiting New York City. We do not have enough affordable housing, so there has to be other ways for, for uh, you know, homeowners to subsidize their income. And Airbnb is still in a legal fight with New York City, where right now most short-term rentals are illegal unless the permanent tenant is also living in the apartment. Airbnb has already fought off regulations in San Francisco and San Diego. Reporting live in Jersey City, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.